yeah, Travers, it's tough to believe that these people are going through a very similar thing they went through back in March. Our very own meteorologist Devin Lucy says that this tornado possibly took a very similar path to the EF3 tornado that happened back in March. But right now we're here on Raleigh Boulevard. I'm going to get out the way and show you what we're seeing here so far right now. You can see the biggest thing we've been seeing crews do out here is cleaning up, doing the best they can to try to pick up the mess after that tornado from last night. It's hard to believe we're just over 12 hours from when that tornado touched down and folks have immediately came together to help those, their fellow neighbors, fellow friends who also need the help as well. We've also seen police officers, firefighters going door to door, making sure folks have what they need in order to continue their cleanup process. But Travers, we've seen this not only here in Araby, but all across Southeast Louisiana and across Jefferson Parish from Gretna to Marrero, we've seen this as a big issue. I want to go ahead and turn things over to traffic anchor Deja Brown, who's in Harvey with what the situation looks like over there. Deja. So I couldn't see the steel beam when it came through. The pressure dropped and my ears popped and that's how I knew. You know, I was like, oh yeah, this is definitely a tornado. Neighborhoods across Jefferson Parish left devastated after Wednesday's tornado shredded parts of the West Bank. Residents along this stretch of Gardere Avenue and Harvey are stunned. Something hit here. This, my little screen door, my glass door was ripped off. This blew off and the batteries blew out of it. Alicia Lanier has lived in her home since 2015. She just started renovating. Now she's barely able to get out her front door. Across the street, an American flag hangs on a duplex where the roof was ripped off and riddled with debris. What happened, the roof fell in and it closed that in there and nothing harmed it. And just to give you a little bit more of a perspective here on Gardere Avenue, take a look at this. This is one of the residents' bedroom debris from his neighbor's roof landing inside his front room that also doubles as a bedroom. You can see the mattress turned over, wood panels with nails sticking out, absolutely devastating. Katrina wasn't this bad. Thankfully, no one was injured. Lanier says moments like this are when neighbors come together and lend a hand. It's an old school neighborhood. Everybody around here is like family. We'll do anything for you, give you the shirt off their back. We're going to be all right. And that's traffic anchor Deja Brown reporting. Now, Travers, looking at Harvey, my grandparents live in Harvey. I checked in on them yesterday to make sure they were okay. But one of the tough images I saw from yesterday, Travers, was West Jefferson High School. That's where my uncles went to high school. And seeing the damage that was suffered there was tough to look at as well. But we talked about what's going on here in Araby and also talking about what's happening in Harvey, Travers. But other parts of Southeast Louisiana were also heavily affected by this severe weather. Yeah, that's right, Daryl. We're going to check back in with you live throughout this newscast from Araby in just a few minutes.